A 2012 estimate by the National Bureau of Statistics shows that Nigeria has a deficit of 17 million houses and requires 700,000 homes to be built annually, compared to less than 100,000 currently being constructed. This perhaps explains why the federal government is trying to plug the gap with a projection of 300,000 units within the next 12 months. We are building houses directly through the ministry uh, in 34 states. We are filling the first phase of that. Lagos, the commercial nerve center of the country, is challenged in this area with a deficit of 8 million houses. Yet, the state faces an ever-increasing number of dwellers which has become a basis for a responsive housing policy. We need to replicate development like this in Badagri. We need to replicate in Epe. We need to replicate in Ikorudu. These are new schemes. Some of the previously built homes can be found in areas like Mautu, Ijaye, Abesson, Alaka, and many others. The Abesso estate alone has over 4,000 housing units. The initiative was conceived decades ago as a solution to the perennial accommodation problem in the state back then. Constructed over 40 years ago, most of these houses are falling apart and surrounded by stagnant water due to lack of proper drainage networks. This is Amu Ward of Infestac Extension in Mautu. This particular building has been in this present state for about three years now. Occupants of each flat had no choice than to move out of their comfort zone due to the dangers posed by the structure. Some residents wonder why the government has not done anything concerning this building. I've been living in this estate since 1978. So when the government came to come and do some demolition, some of the pillars they used in amending the block, the trailer and the weight of the noise of the trailer weakened the block. The flood it's nothing that we can even talk about. At the Alaka area, what stares us in the face is not different from what we saw at Mount Su. The Ikwanri estate looks better compared to others. We normally paint when necessary. We paint the outside. There are some people who don't care about that. The state government says it's aware of the situation and working on how to put some of the structures back in shape. We are working on Alaka. The problem we are having and we want to solve in-house is trust in governance. We are looking at the possibility of, okay, building and moving them, we do it gradually. As the state government works on possible ways to upgrade these projects, many hope that the more modern Lagos homes currently being allocated will not suffer the same fate decades from now. Titi Layo, Haberia Wu, Channels Television News.